how to get the most out of your Akashic Reiki session and why it's important to stay open. When you're trying something new, it's unfamiliar, you're not quite sure, there's anticipation, excitement. There's also this little bit of element like, what is there? Because it's not tangible, energy is not tangible. You're not getting like a piece of paper in your hand where you can actually go and read it and look at it. And that's why I explained in a previous video what Akashic readings are, records are. Is that they, it's a record of everything you've experienced in your life, felt, experienced, thought, seen from your past lives, present and with future possibilities. So when you get to understand that, and it can take a while to do that, you get to realize that whatever comes through is meant to come through. And the wonderful thing about this is you can have a conversation with that, you can ask different questions. And that is why I offer separate and sec second sessions or third sessions even, because sometimes it doesn't make sense what's come through. You wanted this, but you received this. Some of it you go, yes, some of it you don't know, and there's doubt. A client wanted me to share this with you, that when she came into her session, she wasn't quite sure what to expect, but she wanted to look at in her business why she, want, why she couldn't move from this price range to this price range. And what came through for her was that she needed to declutter her home. She thought, that's bizarre. And she took it literally, because literally what was interesting was she had been decluttering her home just that weekend. So she knew something was happening here, but it wasn't quite that. So when she went away to think about and explore it and then came back to her next session, what she realized was that she actually needed to declutter the back end of her business. She needed to create space. She needed to open things up. She needed to simplify everything to be able to step into that new way of being, to have a solid grounding for what she wanted to do. So that's what that, so that's where she got excited, realizing, oh my gosh, you don't need to take things literally. It's also about letting it be. So it's taking a few days to allow things to settle. It may be, as I mentioned, you come and have another session. And when you do, what we look at is how does it make sense? How do we set goals for you to do that? What do we need to look at that's locking you from that? What doubts might have come up? Fears, anxieties, because you can be very confident. But when you're stepping into something new, there's always that hesitancy, anticipation. Can I do it? Little questions and doubts will come up. And that's why it's important to stay open to what you're receiving. Look at it, see it, feel it, question, ask, and then we can move forward into that new space. That is so incredibly exciting. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below and I look forward to replying. If you haven't already subscribed, why not do so now to receive more information on energy healing, Reiki, tapping and how that can support you in your life.